My name is Joanne Pullman. I'm from these Changing Times program. Today I'm going to be talking to you about your job is you. This subject, this topic that we are talking about today is about people that is down on themselves. So <laughs> if you're not one of those people that's not down on yourself, I'm really not talking to you. But I'm talking to that person. I'm not talking about a selfish person. I'm talking about a person that don't appreciate themselves, that think less of themselves, and don't value themselves. That's what I'm talking about. So when I say the job is you, that means that you need to start working on yourself, getting yourself together. You know, I read in Psalms, uh, 139, 14, what David said. David said these words. I will praise thee, O Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Everything that God created when he made men, he said was good. He made him, and when we begin to feel kind of pitiful about ourselves or sorrowful for ourselves, then we're not representing God as a whole. Sometimes these things start very young in our lives. We begin to doubt ourselves, uh, feel that we don't come up to the part that we should have, or, or the person that we should be. And then we don't have that confidence and faith in ourselves that we always don't seem to be where we want to be or where we're supposed to go in this life. But when we start talking about your job as you, some people are scuffling hard to find the right track to take, the right road to go on, and to become somebody, but they don't know that a lot of times that you're holding your own self back when you're doubting yourself. So we're going to read an article to you today about when you do not treat yourself the way you want others to treat you, you can never change the way things are. Because it starts inwardly. What you feel about yourself It'll show itself to other people that you're not really up to the part of yourself. So when Jesus said that everything he created was good, when he made man, he said that was good. He made man after his own image. And then he made and then he said that's good. And then he said that he made us fearfully and we are wonderfully made, all of us. But until you realize that, then you're stumbling through life, struggling through life, not appreciating what God has made, that's you. You understand what I mean? You know, I tell you, when you begin to feel that, you know, it starts when people are just little children. You understand me? It starts sometime when we're just babies. We get it from name calling. You understand me? We get it from people misusing us, mistreating on us, picking on us. You understand me? And if we're not strong minded and then name calling. You understand me? Sometimes it starts very young. Or you understand me? Just about when you're a baby it starts. People start calling your names and telling you you're this and that. Sometimes your own parents don't call you the right name. I heard a professional man say these words, very professional, such a successful man. Say he was called names all his life by his own father. You understand me? And that growed up in him with an inferiority complex. And that stayed in his mind. You understand me? But when I say your job is you, this impressed me to talk on this subject because so many people that I run into don't seem to love themselves. Don't seem, I was in Indianapolis singing. I went away as a young girl with some people, a minister, and this woman come to the program when I was singing on the radio there, 
and she was very beautiful. Beautiful lady. Very beautiful lady, but she didn't know that. Oh, she said, I'm ugly. I don't look good. I said, you're a pretty lady, and I'm just a little girl. You understand what I mean? But I'm talking today to those that, to help you to get out of that spirit, which is not from God. It's from the enemy. That's his trap. You understand what I mean? Sometimes your worst enemy is of your own foe. Oh, you understand what I mean? That's why you don't name call people. You understand what I mean? My little boy, when he was small, people say he's bad. And he said, Mama, they say I'm bad. I said, you're not bad, you're mischievous. <laughs> you understand what I mean? You're not bad. You're mischievous. You understand what I mean? And he never felt he was bad because I told him he was mischievous, a little boy. But I'm telling you today, if you want to make it in this life, every one of us come in contact with people who dislike themselves. You understand what I mean? And then some people want to wish they were somebody else, but you don't know what's going on in that other person's life. You don't even know what's going on in their home. You understand what I mean? So why would you wish for their life? Take the life that God gives you and value yourself. Because all those thinking is you thinking about yourself. Whatever people call you, pay them no attention. Because they call Jesus the son of Bezebel. He healed them. They call him everything but the child of God. You understand what I mean? But let me tell you today, I want to give you a few examples. When you don't treat yourself the best, well, when you mean, when you say, you take people, they get themselves stuck in a rut, and they stay there. Expecting a miracle, but it don't happen. You understand me? Never let no baby, baby, nobody make you crawl up in a knot. I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your husband, or your friend. Don't let nobody make you feel you're lower than what you are. Pick yourself up. Believe in yourself. Because your mind don't know the difference. Because the Bible said, whatever man think about himself, that's what he is. This is the word of God, but yet Jesus said, right here in the Bible, in Psalms, David said, Jesus, God have made us all fearfully and wonderfully made. He put us together real good. You understand what I mean? But until you see that in your mind's eye, you go through life with a burden on your shoulder. See, when people call your names, sometimes they just ignorant. Don't know any better. You understand what I mean? And ain't got anything to do but joke. You understand what I mean? But words, they used to say when I was coming up, a little girl, that's a long, long time ago. You can talk about me all you want, but talking never hurts me. But I found out as I got older, it do hurt. People can say things to hurt you real bad. You understand what I mean? But we're going to tell you about your job. Your job is to take care of yourself first. Get your best for yourself. Where are you going to start? In the mind. You understand what I mean? Because God, Jesus, I keep you in perfect peace. That's what God say. When your mind is stayed on him. You understand what I mean? That's all unnecessary stuff. You understand me? Ignorant stuff. The work of the devil. To keep you depressed, keep you unhappy, and keep you from moving forward. You understand what I mean? But let me tell you today. 139 of Psalms 14 says we are fearfully, wonderfully made. God ain't going to make nothing he ain't proud of. You understand what I mean? And he made every one of us. And what I'm saying to you today, and one thing you got to pick up about yourself, things will never change in your life if you never change that thinking pattern. Because that, that gives the power of the enemy to work against you. 
And the first thing you are saying to yourself, if you don't treat yourself with love and respect, the first thing you send it out a signal. You know what I mean? A signal. You're wearing the signal with you. And then what the signal is saying, I'm not important enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not good enough, and I'm not deserving enough. Because it began to mold into your character. And that's the way you act, that's the way you walk, that's the way you live. And you're tormented day in and day out, punishing your own self. Get up off of yourself. Stop mistreating yourself. Love yourself. When Jesus, the disciple, the lawyer, asked him, Master, what is the greatest commandment of all? Jesus said to him, you know the story, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. And the next one is similar to that one. Love your neighbor as yourself. A man can't love his neighbor if he don't know how to love himself. Why would God put it that way? He wants you to take care of self. If nobody else build you up, you build yourself up because you're worthy enough, you're good enough, and you're special enough. And you got a lot going on, but you got to see it. You got to know it. You understand what I mean? Because when you know it, then your life will change because you be feel I'm worthy of the best things in life. I'm supposed to have this. I'm not going to pay ignorance talk any attention. Because they call Jesus everything but a child of God. He wasn't a child of God. They denounced him. They didn't want to be proud of him. But the Lord is saying, I'm saying to you today, you carry sickness around when you keep carrying that kind of stuff in your mind. You get stuck there, and you close your in just like you put yourself in a prison. Not behind bars, but you don't put yourself in a prison. Like you're waiting on a time to get out of jail. You're signaling yourself and putting yourself stuck there, not going in a way fast. No changes is coming. No blessings are coming. Ain't nothing I'm doing happy. Get unstuck. And when you make up your mind, I'm not in prison any longer from what man say or what man do. And when you make up your mind that you're not going to carry those kind of thoughts around, that kind of spirit around, that wall of prison will fall, come tumbling down in your life. Everyone comes in contact with people who dislike themselves. Every one of us do. And when they are like that, they begin to project that kind of resentment around other people with criticism. They are criticizing others. And when they criticize others, naturally this just causes other people to react automatically in resistance towards them. So you don't want to carry that kind of spirit around because it makes other people when you get around them you can that type of spirit, and anything they do is resistance to you, resentment and criticism to others. But when you get to the point that you clear that mind and get that stuff out and love yourself first, because when you love yourself, you can give it away. I'm not responsible. You are not responsible for where you are born. But where you're going is up to you. See, I may not have chosen my place where I want to be born, but I can choose my point where I want to go in this life. You understand? I don't care what happened when I was a child, but I'm grown now. I can choose my road because God gave me the spirit of choice. He put it in all of us that we should choose what we want out of life. And then when you believe in yourself, if you change the way you're thinking now, 
and being down on yourself and not happy with yourself, it's all a waste of time. Because every day we should be going around, the Indian people over across overseas taught their children every day, and say to themselves, the students, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. That's the greatness of God in us. And uh, so it makes it a job. Because you're the job. You got to write out, straighten out everything that is puzzling you. And where do you go to get this problem out of the job? In the mind. You get it all out of there. Get unstuck. Think something happened. Some people use 365 days being depressed, being worried, being unhappy. They started being unhappy in 1992. And 1993, they're still unhappy. 1994, 95, 96, 97, 2001, 2012, 2010, any year, still depressed and unhappy. Something wrong somewhere. Years didn't change, but you're in the same shape. What's wrong? These are days that's passing by, and you ain't got no better. You ain't feeling no better about yourself. Come on now, let go with me a mile or two. Ain't nothing but doing, just be what Jesus said in Romans 12, 2, that's what Paul said. Don't be conformed to this world, and ignore ignorant people. Because have you noticed those people that picked on you and dogged you out, where are they going? They ain't going nowhere. Haven't achieved anything. But God give you a special gift when you picked on. There's <laughs> something special about you when you picked on. But I'm going to tell you something that will help you. If you're going around with that kind of problem, get rid of it today. Change your mind of thinking and start rejoicing what God has done for you, how blessed you are to be in this land of the living, how blessed you are. You've got your limbs, you've got your everything, you've got your breath. But enjoy God's days. Enjoy the beauty of his world. And when you're happy, you'll draw more happiness into your life. Your job is you. Your job is to take care of you first. And happiness will show up. And this is something to do. Direct your emotions into healthy, pleasant thoughts. Good thoughts. Don't, let, uh, uh, don't feel bad. Don't feel unhappy. Be proud of yourself. And be proud of how God has made you. And if someone has dogged you out, mistreated you, hated you, called you everything, forgive them. And loose that stuff from you, and you'll fly like a bird. You'll go up higher and higher. As the song says, take me higher, Lord. Take me higher in Jesus. And if you seek first the kingdom of God and think about Jesus, all things will be added unto you. One thing about the mind, it's the greatest power that God has given us to possess through faith. See, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And if a man don't have faith in himself, how can you go forward? Because we're going to meet people in the world, but you know, you can take something that happened years ago and let it repeat itself constantly in your life. It's not going away till you get it out of there. Set yourself free. And a new tomorrow will be here. A new day will be added to your life, and you'll find out all that was unnecessary because it didn't propagate anything in the first place. I thank God for the Lord Jesus, and I thank him for everything. prayer time. We hope you're listening to us when we say about your job as you. This is going to continue on. And we're going to pray right now. And ask God for his blessings upon all those we're talking to today. 
Our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come before your presence as filthy rags, not worthy to even to call your name. But by you being a God of love and a God of mercy, we thank you for being here today to be able to speak your word and tell the truth. And if someone is in need of prayer, as we pray that they be blessed and that you hear our prayer and set them free and help them to find Jesus and find you, Father, and worship you and praise you and give the glory to your most high name. We love you, Father. Thank you for this day. And right after this prayer, we're going to have my brother Cornelius going to close us out with the song, Pray. May God bless you. May God continue to help you and take it from me. You can do anything through Christ which strengthens us in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Don't forget to pray And pray when you go to bed Count your daily bread Don't forget to pray You cannot wait to a duty for morning When you have troubles, remember this morning Pray until judgment day you don't have the devil to pay If you only open up the good book Find some sweet brothers and sisters Why don't you listen to me? You gotta get ready Oh, pray when you feel it low Fall on the wind when the you winds blow Don't forget to pray Come on, you know, take care We are continuing this same subject right now, giving you some points on what to do to get the best of yourself out, that it won't be a job anymore, that it'll be a pleasure to be able to worship and to serve a true and living God. As I said before, we are fearfully, listen carefully to what I'm saying, and wonderfully. Made. Everything about you is precious because the God that created you made you a good person. He made you what you are. And he wants you to enjoy. You see, he loved us so much that he made everything before he made man. He put everything in existence that we can have everything that we need before he made man. He made everything that man needed. And everything he made, he said, was good. Honest thing he said wasn't good, he said it wasn't good for man to be alone. And I'm saying to you today, if you're down on yourself and you feel less of all, no matter what people call you, you know one thing, when people call you something, there must be something special about it, because everything come out of man's mouth. God says, sorry, made man in the beginning. And then surprise me what a man do with some good. When he's doing evil, thinking evil, you can't go that route. And then you don't take seriously what people say, because everything come out of man's mouth is sometimes not good stuff. Most of the things that is going wrong in our life is because of the bad thoughts that we have. The doubts that we carry around in our mind. The evil thoughts we care about ourselves. You know, some people are so hard on themselves, if they were in a ring fighting, they'd knock their own self out. They'll lose the battle all the time because they just so hard on themselves, just beating up on themselves. Wake up in the morning beating up on yourself. All day long beating up on yourself. Look in the mirror at yourself and bear yourself. Make yourself what you wanted to be. Send the good stuff about yourself because 
If you weren't, if you weren't a good person, wouldn't nobody be picking on you. And as I said earlier, the choices that we make a lot of times brings about trouble in our life. But if something happened in your life and you didn't think you were there at that time that, that, and showed your support, it's nothing you can do about that now. But don't punish yourself for those things. Make up for it by doing good, by doing good for others. You understand what I mean? Because none of us are perfect people. None is good but the Father. The man said to Jesus, oh, good master. He said, none, why will you call me good? Because it's none good but the Father. You know, I was thinking about another thing about your job as you, is being happy. Some people think they can't be happy unless they reach a certain goal in life. Some people think they can never be happy because they haven't met the right help me. You understand me? A lot of people think there just ain't no joy without getting everything they want first. But you got the cock before the horse. Because happiness begins in you. That's where happiness starts. It starts within yourself. Don't expect nobody to come and bring you happiness. You start happiness within your own self. And once you're happy, you'll be able to draw more happiness into your life. See? And Jesus said, one thing, the difference in mindset, honest thing, faith works, doubt works. Both of them work. Who are you going to believe? I asked a question the other day. You got one door that is in your place, in your heart. For your prayer request or to donate a seed offering to our These Changing Times program, please visit www.thesechangingtimes.myevent.com or contact J. Pullman Ministries at hotmail.com or send to P.O. Box 1742 Annadale, Virginia, 22003. Thank you.